Hey, so today I'm going to show you how to make your lips look bigger with just a few quick tips and tricks. It's not difficult. It's very easy to do. So let's do this. Okay. So the first thing I always like to do is, let's see, I have, I can't see any of the notifications. Okay. Um, first thing, obviously, I've had makeup on since about 6.30 this morning, so just forgive me for looking super tired. I'm rocking my hat, rocking my yoga pants. You know, <laughs> I'm tired. Hi, Erin, buddy. I hope you're feeling okay. Um, okay, so let's do this. So I am going to start out with just a couple tips. You're going to need, um, I'm gonna take, hi, Amber. You're gonna take the eyeshadow everything brush, take the small end. If you don't have this brush, you could also use um, a Q-tip or something similar to this. See how it's like kind of domed, it's small. It's not too firm, but it's not too fluffy. Um, and then I'm gonna take the cream contour. I'm going to use the color Olive and just pick up a little bit of product and then do like feather like strokes on the outer edge of my lips. See, and I am getting over a cold, so I should have done this. What's up, Katie? How are you? Okay, so I'm just doing feather like strokes with a contour on the outer edge of my lip. And what that does is that creates that creates depth and dimension. So it's not like a straight line. See, it's not a straight line. It just has like a shadow. So then I'll do that on the top. I'm gonna use my mirror here. So <laughs> with my top lip, I have to stop talking, I'm sorry. You guys enjoying the heat? Hi, Kimberly. Do you like to be called Kim or Kimberly? Well, oh shoot, I wanted to show you the difference. Okay, so this one, this one is uh, defined. Do you see? Do you see how much puffier this looks compared to this side? Just by adding that dimension, do you see the difference? Okay, so I'm gonna do it on this side. So just right on the outer edge, it kind of feels weird. Almost like you're drawing a mustache, really. I like, okay, good. Okay, so now they're nice and round. And then I take my detail hack brush. I put it in just a little bit of contour. And then I go right, right there in the, in like that crease between the lip and your chin and then blend it out so you don't look cray cray and that gives you like a pout like it gives you it creates a shadow so it looks like your lips are bigger okay so this is not how we're gonna leave it we're gonna make it look you know normal okay so that's the first step then you take your lipstick, it can be any lipstick you want, any color you want, it doesn't matter. I am going to, because all this is doing is just creating dimension, creating a shadow that may or may not be there. I almost did this the other night, it was in a hurry and I knew I probably screwed up. <laughs> You're not gonna screw it up. The beauty about having cream products like this is you literally could rub it in and you would be good to go, you would be fine. Um, I chose the Stila um, Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick because every time I wear this, I get a crap ton of messages asking me what is on my lips. So this is um, by Stila or Stila or Styla, however you want to say it. It's Angelo. So, um, okay, so I this is a Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. I wipe off all the edges. And then apply. I am repping Kirsten. 
Here's some shown in the building, Red Barn Farm. Get you some of that. Oh my God, they have the best, the best brats. Samantha, how are you? Pretty girl. Okay, so put your lipstick on. We contoured our lips. We contoured right here. We put our lipstick on. Put my lipstick on. Okay, now you take a lip liner. And I know most people will teach you to do lip liner and then lipstick. I actually do opposite of that. I do lipstick then lip liner. So take your lip liner. This, what do we have here? We're using Jordana Rockin' Rose. Rockin' Rose. This I got at Walgreens. I was checking out in the beauty section. <laughs> I was like, I'll take one of those. So you could use anything. It doesn't have to be super expensive. It could be any tool. Can't decide if I want big lips or watch an all-star game. You probably should watch the all-star game. I'll show you how to do the big lips later. Okay, so then take your lip liner. Oh, thank you, Samantha. You look gorgeous. I can't see you, but I'm gonna say you look gorgeous. Love that stuff. I have the color in patina. Patina is a good one. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. Ooh, I forgot to do the inside of my lips. Ugh, sorry. I can't stand. Hold on. If I have a, a matte all day, listen, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I can't stand. And there's that line right there. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like there's that line and you can see the inside like that. I can't, I can't handle it. I always do the inside. Okay, so it looks crazy right now, but just follow along. Okay, so now you're going to take the liner and you do like kinda on the inside, kinda on the outside. And you see how I'm not making a line? I'm not making a line. I think somebody's getting in the shower, so if it gets really loud, I'm sorry. Okay, so. People ask me all the time, how do I get a color that is, um, how do I get the lip liner to be really straight? It's like, well, don't make it really straight. Then that's really not believable. So I just go back and forth. Like I just do small dashes and kind of connect them. Okay, and then here's another trick. So I go like this from the Cupid's bow. I go like that, and then I go like that. And it creates like an X, like that. Okay, then you are going to take your illuminator. That is the shiny product. I'm gonna take that and go right on the outer edge. So that's gonna catch the light, just kind of blend. Thank you, Rachel. I had an extremely hot hot dog, so my lips are really puffy from the burn. Boom! Easy, big lips, just eat something spicy. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a gloss. I like gloss, I know matte is in and it's cool and all that stuff, but I think lip gloss is very sexy and I love it. Um, this is Pearl by Lip Sense. I'm just gonna take this and go right in the center. I always just do the center, like this. Oops. And then go like that. The reason I did the illuminator rather than, hey mama see, rather than uh, just the glass is the illuminator stays longer. And then I like a defined lip, but if you feel like that's like too much, just kind of smush it around. Like if you feel like the liner is not blended enough for you, take the gloss and then it'll smush it and blend it for you. I wish I would have done it before and after picture. So that's the trick to getting your lips to look bigger. Really, you just create that shadow, put your lipstick on, 
create the shadow here. No, create the shadow with contour. Put your lip contour right under your lip. Put your lipstick on. Put your eye lip liner on. I'm done. Put your lip liner on right on that outer edge and then gloss. And that's it. Quick tips. Bam, bam, bam. Quick tip Tuesday. Wait, is it Tuesday? Yeah. Hey, look at that. I didn't mean to do that, but that's fun. Okay. So anyway, if you have any questions, just message me. I hope that you found that helpful. If you want to learn any other quick tips like that, I don't know if I'll do it on a Tuesday or not, but that'd be kind of cool. Um, message me, comment below. If you found this helpful, share and yeah, do it. Help, help a sister out. <laughs> and let me know what you want to learn next time. Hopefully you love this. And if you try it, send me a picture. Love you. Bye.